Yeah, I can do that. Hello there, everyone. Right now, it's 12.30 on Wednesday, July 29th. Now for today's announcements. Today, we have a visitor staying at the campsite. Go meet our guests in person and find out more about them. That's all for today. <coughs> Actually, wait, me. Oh, look, there's a thing right there. At the strange stream, I was writing an important letter. Alas, when I woke, I couldn't remember it. Oh, did I buy an album? I, I don't remember doing that. I'll take a fossil. I mean, a fo an easy fossils. I'll take that. Um, I actually don't have the thing set up in the room anymore. Yeah, I, I was like, did I open it? I don't even remember. Cool, we got a new album. We'll come back to the house later. Yeah, so I should make mention that today... The stream, I, I want to, of course, the goal is to always make the stream better, right? As time goes on, I mean, we're 130 days in, but that's no reason to stop trying to improve. Praise be on to Helix. So, I, and I do want to make some improvements to the stream. And so, I, I had a buddy who bought a new TV, right? New consoles are on the way. They needed a new 4K TV. And so they bought themselves a new 4K TV, and they were getting rid of their old TV. Oh, today's a fruit day as well. And they were like, oh, I'm going to get rid of my old TV. And I was like, I'll take it. Because the TV I normally use is a 720p screen. Right? 720... Just a standard... Right? Old school standard. I got it on Black Friday for like a hundred bucks. I don't know, like four years ago. Probably longer than that. This new P TV is 1080, so it's a little better, but yeah, I'll take it. I, I don't need, I don't have anything that can play 4K. I I don't I, I don't even own a. Well, I mean, I would say I don't own a 4K movie. That's kind of not true because I know there's a few like digital movies that I own that are 4K, but that's like beyond the point. So I'm now te so normally I have the two monitor. I have the monitor. On for two days yesterday. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah, well, the the stream two days ago actually broke. I the stream started live, and then um it crashed, and I didn't notice it crashed for like eight minutes. So I went on a rant for like eight minutes before real. Or I was talking about Paper Mario for like eight minutes before I even realized the stream had crashed. It's actually pretty funny in hand, hindsight. At the time, I was annoyed. And then yesterday, meh. There are things that take priority. And therapy is definitely one of them. And pro there's probably like dozens of other things. But yeah, so I've now, so I've got this two monitor set up now. With the second one. So I've got, so I've got a two, so what that, this should allow me to do in theory is so like I can come over here and I can flick that ooh it's very small but so now like when I'm referring to like my reference flower guide like these are the flower guides I use 
to like set up all my flower fields and whatnot. So I can now actually show these on stream now, assuming everything works okay. They're pretty good. I actually really like these guides. They're pretty well made. Or like if I pull something up on Twitter or something, I can show those off. So yeah, that's, so yeah, that's, hopefully that's one of the improvements I can make for the stream's future. Just slow and steady. Again, I am still running everything off of a laptop. So, um, if I, I'm, my big worry is that I do too many things on the laptop at one time. It'll like fuck up everything. Like that's one of the reasons why the stream isn't in uh, 1080 and is in 720 to try to save as much fidelity as I can. Yeah. So that's my little behind the scenes sneak peek at like how the sausage gets made per se. And I don't know, and I'm, I'm experimenting on like which, cause I, so I've got the laptop in the middle, one TV off to one side, the old one, and then I've got the new TV off to the other side. And I'm kind of like, so now my microphone is on a completely different side and I'm just experimenting to see like how it looks and how it works. Hey, how you doing? But it's, it's very different for me. Of course, my hand falling asleep is still the same because some things never change. Some things never change. My hand is asleep though. In your ear? Um, it's okay. Like, I can hear out of it. So, yeah, it's fine. I speak English very... Well, then, thanks for tuning in. I am ha- Even though you, you speak a little English, it's still happy to- I'm still happy to have you here. Rise the main sails. Happy, happy. <laughs> Pirate sounds. Such a stoner. As soon as the mateys were headed for Davy Jones' shoe cubby. <laughs> uh, that gets me every time. Of course, I do need a more comfortable chair, but... Eh. Theoretically, I could do it as a tax write-off nowadays, with everyone working from home. I could buy a set of expensive chairs and, tax write and, write them and do a tax write-off. Yeah, I'm too lazy. Ah, have it at you, Cortez. Three swords and a hook. Let's make this a fair duel. I'll tie one wing behind my back. Ha <laughs> ha. Blimey, what a dream. I was in the midst of a fierce pirate battle with one of my greatest rivals. Say, good to see you again, Skipper. Sorry I came out swinging. Didn't mean to give you a scare. Matter of fact, it's very practice swings of my fearful fisticuffery. That sent me tumbling overboard. Now I get to message me buccaneer buddies for another rescue. So long as I've got my trusty old communicator, I'll be just... Oh my gosh. My trusty communicator has gone and vanished. Those waves bopped me around like an inflatable beach ball. The thing must have slipped out of my pocket. That means that I've lost at sea and I'll have to wait for my buccaneer buddies to find me on their own. That could take quite a bit of time. I'm still workshopping my pirate puns, so are sure to run out fast. Ahoy, you wish a whale-sized noggin. Will you sit, spin sea to find my lost communicator? Puts my communicator in the nearby ocean. My crew is searching for me, so I should keep a lookout. Got to be on land. That means it's up to you to swim and find my communicator. Sure to make room in your pockets before the house, or else you'll be blundering for a plundering. Yeah, we got some room. Nearly died in Binding of Isaac. I wish I was able to get into Binding of Isaac more. I used to, like, when the original game came out many, many years ago, I was big into it. But then after a certain point, I just... Nah. I, I like, when the new game... When, re when not Rebirth. 
Not after. Was it called Rebirth, actually? I don't remember. Whenever the newest game came out, back in like 20... What was it? 2015? 2014? I was like, oh, I'm going to play this, and I enjoyed it. My brother got way more into it than I did, though. And then, then I had it on 3DS for a little bit, and the 3DS version was okay. And then now I own it on Switch, but I've just never been able to get into it. Ever since then. Nope, I'm just not good enough. I've had some good runs, especially on, like, the PC version, but... Rebirth is the DLC. Rebirth, the DLC is Afterbirth. I... I don't know, there's been multiple DLCs, but yeah, there... I don't know, the game's the game is good, I just haven't been able to get into it as much as I want to. Now, the Binding of Isaac card game, uh, Four Souls, is amazing. Four Souls is a fantastic game. And I, it's, it's one of the, it's one of my favorites. Probably top ten favorite board games or card games or whatever the hell you want to call it. it it's great. I, I love Four Souls so much. It's, I have done some ludicrous shit in it. Because it, it works like the game where you can have synergies. And I've had like synerg, and I've had some good synergies. My brother, who loves Binding of Isaacs, had some good synergies. I was the Lost. I don't have four souls. Let's go now. It is. I really enjoy it. If you can find a good group of people to play it with, it's pretty good. But I, So, I was playing as the Lost. And the Lost's whole gimmick in the card game is that it only has one health. And somehow I got, like, s s milk or something like that that gave me an... Two, so, I had two health. And the Lost can't, like, die. That's his whole gimmick is that he can't die. He just, like, he has one health. But you can, like, infinitely keep him alive. But my brother had, like, Razor Blade that does one damage to an opponent. And then he had one other skill. And he was just able to basically two da- uh, Like, he had, like, Battery, which, like, recharges a skill. And he was basically able to one-shot me at the start of every turn. So he- my brother was just able to instantly kill me at the start of every one of my own turns. And it was- Oh, it was so annoying, but God, it was such a great synergy that he managed to pull up. I've done some crazy stuff with Godhead and Clay and... Oh, it's so fun. If you, if you can get the right people to play it, oh, is it fun. It's been a while since I played it. Who are you? From around here, I'm kind of on vacation, just relaxing and focusing on group things. So far, I'm like, I sing 100% of Ken's would rate this ca campground highly. Okay, Ken. A YouTuber plays Four Souls. His name is Tear of Grace and Hilarious. Oh, I've never heard of him. That's, yeah, I could, I could see it. There's a, there's a lot of good shit you can do in that game. It's, it's impressive. It's, it's so, it's so, like, I was kind of hesitant on it at first. But, you know, I support a lot of board game Kickstarters. I have, like, three that I'm supporting right now. At least that haven't delivered. Actually, four. So, this is our bridge we built yesterday. I, can't, I like it. Yeah, this bridge is nice. Um... I wonder, I should, I, I should see if I can put a path right there, but I'll worry about that later. But yeah, no, I, that's, yeah, I, so I supported the original Binding of Isaac Kickstarter, just like, you know, I'm gonna, right, I was kind of hesitant on it, but it looked like it could be good, and it was, it was, like, once I played it, and, like, you figure out, like, all the little twists and turns, and, you get a good synergy going. Oh, it's so much fun. It's so much fun. Ooh, we got some red. That's interesting. <coughs> yeah. Turnip fields. So, Mush, uh, what do you think of the new update? Because they released the trailer yesterday for the August update. For this game. Hmm. 
The new update looks dope. I so I did look I did rewatch the trailer at some point and I real and the thing I missed was that they have like custom fireworks. I didn't realize the custom fireworks were your like custom design patterns. You can make custom fireworks with your own custom design patterns. That's really cool. I'm gonna have to create some cool fireworks for that. Ooh, Gulliver's Travels. Oh, and I like that they count go both Gullivers under one thing. But yeah, the, the, new, the fireworks stuff is pretty cool. It sucks that it's only for a month in August. I would love for that to be like a year-round thing. That would be so much fun. To just like every year just do some fireworks stuff. Have I, how have I only found two of the fossils? Yeah, my problem is the cloud save stuff. Which I should really pull up the statement. Maybe after I do the fossils, I'll pull up the statement for. In, like, the official Nintendo press release for this update, they explain, like, how the cloud system save is going to work. And it annoys the shit out of me. Wait till someone makes lewd fireworks. <laughs> oh, yeah, my, my, my first thought was a, uh, a dick. Like, or, or it was a dick and the S. You know, the classic, like, the six lines that make the S. Those were my first two thoughts for custom fireworks. <coughs> Don't I have a birthday coming up in this game? The cool S. August 1st is Kid Cat's birthday. Okay. That's that's Saturday, isn't it? Maybe I I don't know. I probably won't actually go to his birthday party cuz it's Kid Cat. I mean, I didn't go to Tammy's. Admittedly, I think we were Admittedly, I think I reviewed Pokémon on that day. Hey, MC Dolphy, how you doing? Here's here's another fossil. And I'll take those peaches. I got the money rock. Hyped for tomorrow's update? Yep. Yeah. Tomorrow's update looks great. I'm I'm excited for fireworks on Sunday. Dream Suite's going to be interesting. I hope, like, because you, you, in the lead up, like, after this game released, you saw, like, all these people create, like, cool islands. Like, someone created an Earthbound Island. Somebody created Link to the Past. Somebody created, like, all these cool characters, all these cool islands. And I hope those get uploaded to Dream Suite and, like, share it around. Because, I, like, I would love to see that Link to the Past island. Like, actually go and visit it. Instead of just, like, watch a Game Explains video on it. Which, I mean, the Game Explains video is fine. Who's your favorite character in Wrath of the Lamb? You're gonna have to remind me which characters... Which characters are in Wrath of the Lamb. <laughs> yeah, that looks cool. The Dream Suite stuff. Custom fireworks look cool. The only thing I'm hesitant is is about the save thing, which isn't actually like a feature. Like it's not like a feature of the game, and how Nintendo's handling it is just dumb. But that's Nintendo for you. Diplo chest, and I've I've already got most of that. Okay, I should go find out who this lost item belongs to. Hey Yuka, you want to talk? Isaac, Samson, Judith, Eve, and Lost. Oh, it's just the originals. Okay. Yeah. For some reason, I think of when when you said that, my first thought was of the af it was the afterbirth characters, Lilith and the other one. N my favorite's Eve, though. Eve was always the cool one to use. Okay, I saw Zucker around, but I don't remember where. There's Cherry. There's Kid Cat. See, Zucker's not as his house. Yeah, Eve was always my favorite to use. Let's 
Samson was always cool to me. Yeah, Samson's cool. He has the damage boost, right? That's that's Samson. Yeah, he was cool. Ooh, what are Carmen and Whitney talking about? Your clothes always look like Tris chic, Whitney. They must be so expensive. Not at all. Even I've been known to, as they say, hunt for smartly priced items. Smartly priced? I don't think anyone says that. Anywho, if I buy cheap clothes like you, I'll look fashtastic? Of course not. You can't simply copy what I wear. There's a trick to it all. Can you guess what trick it might be? Find colors that work? Absolutely. If you wish to look lavish, I highly recommend muted colors. Monochrome assemble assembles are great too long. As long as they accent them with a contrasting color. Of course, the most important thing is to find a color that works for you. Just pay attention to that and they, they too can look extravagant. I'm more worried about cutesy fashion right now, but a change of pace could be really fun. Thanks for the tips. Indeed, fashion should be a ma making a statement. I'm here and I'm gorgeous. That here is the true secret of high fashion. I have no idea what that accent was supposed to be. You know, for as much as like I hear the same repeated dialogue over and over again in this game, I've never, those like, the two people conversations, I've never seen a repeat. Maybe because they're not all that common. I like the two people conversations. They're way more, they're, they're interesting. I'll take a bicycle helmet. Ugh. Nothing really that interesting here. So let's sell basically all of this. Oh, that's not bad. I died to the altar greed rip. Ugh. Yeah. You know what mode I really I wanted to get into but never could? The greed mode. Because there was greed and then there was ultra greed and all that. And that was oh and it sounded so interesting. And if I go back and far enough in my Switch photo album, there's some video of my brother playing when like the when it first came out, and he just like broke the game in like greed mode. And it was so like the switch was like lagging so hard. I think, no, I, it's not footage, but it's like screenshots, because footage didn't exist at the time. Oh, I'm still wearing the wetsuit. Greed is awesome, and I love the soundtrack. Yep, let's use the fitting room. Ooh, a vampire costume. Oh, I don't have that. Oh, I can look like, uh, Dick Dastardly. <laughs> nah. Go ahead and send those purchases to my house. So let's go back to the house real quick. Because I'm going to need to get a few things, make a custom DIY pattern. I actually did want to look one up, see if I could just find something. I'm either going to have to make it or just custom it, but I also need to make a few other things. Get some fencing. I wonder what fencing I should... Maybe I should use the stone, because I haven't used the stone in a while. Okay, I do want to... I got sin... I got a synergy in a regular run, and I broke it every time I shot. I lost a whole heart. It was funny. And I beat the run thing. My favorite synergy is what's it, is it Azazel and Ludovice technique, where like the brimstone detaches from his body and becomes a floating ring, and combined with Azazel's flying, it's broken. That was the best run I had, was using those two with, like, a bunch of other good shit I got along the way. It was so broken. So 
So I'm looking up something. Animal Crossing New Horizons August update. Update press release. Because I do want to read this real quick. You can do that. You can do that with regular brimstone as well. But I've... Ne I've never been lucky enough to get uh, regular brimstone and Azazel's brimstone at the same time. I've only ever gotten as it with um, Azazel because I've never seen them both. So okay, so this is the Animal Crossing press release. I'm gonna read this real quick because uh, holy shit! So it says, so this is for island backup and restoration. It says, Nintendo Switch Online members can enable the new island backup service, which automatically uploads islands and user save data to the internet at certain times. If your Nintendo Switch system is lost or damaged, you may be able to recover your island paradise as long as you've enabled island backup. In the event of loss or damage, contact Nintendo support about restoration, the island and user save data of your new and or repaired Nintendo Switch system, after your island data and individual player data is restored, you can get back to building your island community. Then there's four asterisks. Additional details can be found on the Nintendo consumer support page when the update goes live. The island backup feature is separate from the save data cloud functionality offered on select Nintendo Switch games through Nintendo Switch Online, a function specific to... A function specific to Animal Crossing New Horizons to move users and save data to another system is planned for later this year. Details will be coming. Take some time to relax in the summer. Blah, blah, blah. New Horizons update. And then here's our asterisk. Players will connect to the internet. Players will need to upgrade a tent or a home to access the dream feature. Nintendo Switch Online sold separately. Recover is, recovery is only available in the situation where a Nintendo Switch Switch system is lost, stolen, or damaged. A new or repaired Nintendo Switch system is required. An active Nintendo Switch Online player is also required. Uh, I'm going to go to Fruit Island real quick. But that's fucking ridiculous. Fuck it. I, I said this yesterday. The nin ni everything Nintendo has been doing, probably for the past, like, 20 years now, since the Wii. So, what, the Wii came out in 2006? Everything Nintendo has done since the Wii is a monkey's paw. They do something good, something we like, but it comes with a twist. We can't just get what we like. We can't just get cloud saves here. It has to come with a fucking twist. This twist is that Nintendo acts as your, like, babysitter for your cloud saves and oh they will only restore your cloud saves if you lose your system and you have to call them up to get your cloud saves back you can't just restore your cloud saves on your own like the rest of the game but you have to you have to call up nintendo and get them to do it for you it's the dumbest fucking shit and the whole reason they're doing this the whole reason like games like splatoon and pokemon don't have cloud saves is because Nintendo doesn't want people to cheat. That, oh, theoretically, you could open, you could use your cloud saves, give all your bells to your friends, go, let them go, then restore your cloud save. You can restore your cloud save, have all your bells back, and your friend has all your bells as well. So it's basically like they don't want people to duplicate money. The problem is, the fucking problem is. There have been, throughout the hit, I know of two of them. There have been at least two duplication bugs throughout the history of New Horizons. I can think of it, that's the, and that's only the ones I know of. There have, people can also time travel whenever they want. There was also a thing early on in the game where you could just set your clock to like a million years in the future, have infinite money, and then either set it back or just not change it. There were ways to cheat the banking system to get a million dollars. So this game, I, the reason I bring that all up is because this game is easily broken. Easily hackable. You want to do whatever the fuck you want, it's not hard to. It's easier in previous updates, but I'm, I guarantee you more duplication bugs will be found. But yet, Nintendo implements this fucking babysitting cloud save system... 
just because because they don't want people to cheat. It's fucking bullshit, Nintendo. Stop living in 1998. Get with the future. Every one of your games should have a cloud save system on it. And I still say the dumbest one is Splatoon. The dumbest one is still Splatoon, because if you had cloud saves, you could literally go back in time and make your score better, which in every other game, every other online game ever made, the, the scores are just saved to the online servers. But Nintendo doesn't believe in servers, because they're stuck in 1998. So instead, your, your, say, your like, player information, like your KD ratio, even though I don't think Splatoon has that, your win-loss ratio, all that jazz, is saved to your console. So with cloud saving, you could just break it. That's why Splatoon doesn't have cloud saving. Not for any other reason, but because Nintendo's a lazy fucking developer who doesn't understand how online works, refuses to ask other people for help, and then just makes the stupidest fucking choices. I and I know I can see in theory how New Horizons would be harder to cloud save than other games because everyone has their own unique island. Every, right, every console has their own unique island, but you could theoretically have multiple players on one console playing on that same island. So how do you like retrofit that? Oh, is there just one? Do you just save one person's island and just assume everyone else's? is fine, do you link all the accounts together on one island? I could see it being more complicated to get say right, to get cloud backups in Animal Crossing. But what pisses me off, I, I can get it being more complicated, but they don't have to fucking babysit us. Just let us manage our own cloud saves and put cloud saving in every gaming. And fix your online, Nintendo. We're paying 20 bucks for... I also, I have no problem with cloud saves being linked to the online service. If they want to charge money to do cloud saves and online, sure. But it better fucking work, and it better be good. And that's Nintendo's biggest fuck-up. Is it... Is the cloud saves don't exist on, like, a bunch of games. Like, le legitimately, the only game I'd want cloud like... Of all the games I'd want cloud saves for, the only one that I think actually has them is Stardew Valley. Splatoon doesn't have them. Animal Crossing, again, te technically this is cloud saves, but it's just the dumbest fucking way possible. And, like, solutions to this are easy. Like, oh, make it so that you can only read, like, your cloud saves uploads every day, but you can only re-download a cloud save once a week, once a month. There are certain limitations to how often you can re-download your cloud save onto your system. It's not an elegant solution, and it's not perfect, because people will still be able to cheat it. But it doesn't punish the 99% of players who won't cheat, who won't exploit the cloud save system. But nope, Nintendo's just going to punish us all. Fucking... Nintendo just assumes that all players are bastards when it comes to this. And there's a fucking difference. I mean, all cops are still bastards, but that's... I, I can actually prove that. I can, And I can also prove that not all players are bastards. But it just pisses me off. And then their online service. Like, I was trying to get all the achievements in Smash Bros., I'm refusing to do the online achievements because the online is just garbage. There's a reason Smash Bros. isn't at EVO this year or whatever the hell EVO was. Besides for the whole uh, rapist uh, sexual assault thing. Again, I have to add the allegedly there. That prob but, you know, probably did happen. I heard Zero got banned on Twitch yesterday. Because so, he loves the community and he blames himself for corruption and stuff. Exactly. Well, and I mean, any game can have cloud saves. Like, for some reason, Dark Souls doesn't have cloud saves on Switch, even though Dark Souls has cloud saves on Xbox and PlayStation. Not on Switch. And I don't get it. Also, Nintendo's cloud save system is very basic. Like, I was looking at my PlayStation cloud saves for, like, Minecraft. Way, it's, it's a much better system, in my opinion. Like, there's way more depth and detail to it, but that's neither here nor there. 
But Nintendo, Nintendo's online system is garbage. Smash Bros. couldn't have been at EVO this year because it would just be an embarrassment because of how bad Nintendo's netcode is. It's terrible. It's utterly terrible. Nintendo should be ashamed. They put so much quality into so much of their games, right? Nintendo has this certain level of quality to it, but it, their online is just a joke, and everybody knows it is. I mean, God, Xbox had better online 15 years ago. Or would it be 14 years ago? With the launch of the 360 than Nintendo does nowadays. Now, admittedly, I'd argue Switch Online is better than the original, than the PS3's online, but that's... That's another story. You, can you have a... You can, can you have a cow villager? I mean, there are cow villagers. There's, like, Patty and whatnot. I don't remember the other names, but I know there's Patty. But Nintendo Switch... And Nintendo Switch Online is dumb... Their, their services... I've seen a lot of people been turning on the Switch recently, or, like, saying that, oh, the, there have been people who are saying the Wii U is a better system than the Switch. Fucking bullshit. I was there for the entirety of the Wii U. I love the stupid thing. There, I Well, I think the system itself is dumb. The games were good. The games on the Wii U were good. There's a reason most of them have been ported to Switch. But the Wii U was still fucking garbage. I'm just gonna say it. The Wii U was garbage. I love the thing, but no, it was very flawed. I should pull up turnips. The Wii U was a flawed machine. And God, it pisses me. And a lot of people just seem to have forgotten that. They're looking back and they're only remembering the good, not thinking about ever all the other bullshit that happened. Wow, I'm... You know, for a fluctuating price point, they're actually going... They just keep going up. Wow, that's... That's actually kind of surprising. We might have had a small spike this week. I'll, I'll keep an eye on it, but yeah. Our turn prices are actually pretty... I mean, I could be missing the... Like, the early morning stuff may be screwing me over. But wow, our turnips aren't bad. I, I, I'm pretty sure we're fluctuating, though, still. So, I did want to... I did want to come over here. I'm going to look up something real quick. But yeah, Nintendo Switch's online is just... Uh, and then there... Then I didn't even get into the whole... Uh, <sighs> I need a drink of water. Ugh. Oh, that's better. I'm happy I didn't get any. I'm looking... No, I guess I gotta make it myself. I can do that. So let's go get some fencing. Uh, but yeah, I'm just... Like, the NES, the, the virtual console thing on Switch is bad... But I, I, I booted up my Wii U a few days ago before the Origami King review just to see, like, where I was in Color Splash. And while I was there, I looked at the Wii U's Virtual Console. And, I mean, it was fine. But I do feel like a lot of stuff was missing. So do I want to use these stone fencing? I think I might. I also want to get some normal wood. Maybe also some rocks. But yeah, like, I don't think... Nintendo's doing Virtual Console has never actually been that great, in my opinion. Like, I remember when Pikmin 4 came out, or Pikmin 2 came out on Virtual Console on Wii U, like, six months into the Switch's lifespan. It was something dumb like that. Like, it took them way too long to get like pikmin 2 out and there were still plenty of games that never even came to the we use virtual console nintendo just doesn't know how to handle their legacy content they still really don't so i want to get a 
A stall. I don't remember where it is, though. I probably passed it already. Brick walls, fencing... There it is. Let's favorite that, because I do make these a lot. But yeah, I'm just so disappointed. Nintendo's Online just all keeps just disappointing. I want to make two of these. And then... Ooh, uh, I need customization kits. But I did just have an idea. Do, do I have customization kits? I would think I did. There they are, 12. And then right before the stream started, I was watching the new Avengers. So the Avengers game had a new trailer today. And I was watching it. Do I want that? What color do I want? Give me a second. I'm... There it is. Oops. I think I do want a dark wool. Or I... What color would look best with that fencing I just got? The stone fence. I guess let's work with that for now. I hope I did that right. I'll keep the customization on me just in case. And then let's go into DIY patterns. Let's uh, change this design. Let's paint bucket, let's fill that, let's make that clear. And then maybe... Yeah, maybe like this. And then just kind of like put some like worn marks on it and some like bevel to make it like look more realistic. That looks okay. I could probably make it a little thicker, but... We'll see how it looks. Alright, let's go do some building. Probably some chopping and some changing and some whatnot. It'll be fun. So I think for the moment I was planning on putting it where the museum used to be over here. Oh, I was going to grab one other thing from the house before we left.
All right, let's island designer. Honestly, this tree right here really screws me up, but we'll be fine. So one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five. But yeah, so I was watching that new Ave Avengers trailer. This might be a load of cookies on the floor, but I'm back. I I made cookies a few days ago. I made peanut butter cookies a few days ago. They're all gone. That my uh, I I like my I I, br I brought them over to my family. They just devoured them because I make some damn good cookies. Uh, years of practice. So that new Avengers trailer, I it, it talked about the beta for the game, which if you have a PS4, the beta goes live next month. Please tell me they're not both red. Oops, no, not that. Okay, good. They're not both red. But yeah, they talked about like the beta for the game and like how the beta is gonna be like. And you know, the beta actually looks pretty good. Like there like there's so much in the beta. I'm actually really surprised at how much they're putting in this game. Like it's really impressive in my opinion, like how much details getting added here and everything they're adding in. Like there's so much to do. And the beta, how the beta works is if you buy the game, if you're like if you're going to buy the game, you get the beta next month, or like uh, next week, but there's an open beta in the middle of August? Or like near the end of August, I mean. There's like a full open beta. But I, I, I will, I'm, pro I'm probably not going to buy it or anything, but I will definitely check out that open beta. Wow, this is so much smaller than I was expecting it to be. I wonder if I can make it any more interesting, honestly. Let's go. I really need to make, you know, I should really work on that. See, the thing is, I want to get the five star island before I get the rock garden. Because once I get the rock garden, or because when I try to make the, from what I've been told, if you try to make a rock garden, it will just give you the five-star island. Because of how the nature of these things work, if you want to get a five-star island, it'll it'll you can cheat it by trying to make a rock garden. And I kind of don't want to do that. Uh, okay, I was, what is that? Oh, my controller is dying. Ooh, that's interesting. Makes sense. So this is my... So what I've been working on... So, so this game really doesn't have, like, any mini-games. Like, there used, there was, like, mini-games in New Leaf. And the closest we've had is, like, a maze. And I was like, you know what? You could probably make, like, a tic-tac-toe board. So this is my tic-tac-toe board. X... Oh. I've got too much stuff in my inventory, but yeah. 
Yeah, it's just it's just a little thing, like a little like thing to put in my island. I'll probably it was very easy to build, so I'll probably move it later. Yeah, it's just a little thing. Yeah, tic tac toe. Very simple, very easy. Like for the two days. What did I miss? Um, on mon for what you missed on Monday, I did uh, the Paper Mario review, which nothing else happened than that. And on Wednesday, or on Tuesday yesterday, I created a ramp. I built a ramp up through the flower garden. Uh, I didn't, it was thunderstorming yesterday, which was cool. I had never seen thunderstorms before. And uh, something else happened. But I don't remember what. Yeah, hey, look at that. A little tic-tac-toe board. I should have probably saved some of the apples from earlier. But yeah, that happens. I like it. I don't I, I know we did other things yesterday. I somehow killed an hour of time, but I could not tell you what. I wanna put this DIY workbench maybe right here. Again, I'm still not happy with this. I got a thunderstorm once. Still not happy with this area, but I do need a DIY workbench near the museum. Yeah, look at this. This is a cute little thing. Ooh, there's a balloon up there. Yeah, at some point I'll have to have people over to play some tic-tac-toe. Wait. Was that all? That wasn't always a thing. Let me... Vivid socks, okay. Was that that wasn't always a thing, was it? I also need to theoretically build a road that goes over there, but eh, maybe I'll move it closer. Yeah, wow, that's I swear I swear it did it used to not tell like if I were to go up to that, it wouldn't tell me what it is. Like to find out what this DIY this DIY recipe was, you used to have to pick it up and then check it. When was that? that am I am I going am I the one taking crazy pills here? Or has that always been a thing and I'm just going crazy? Because I swear you used to have to pick these up to actually look at them. I, I swear I'm taking crazy pills here. I don't... See, I don't remember it happening either. Maybe that was added in one of the previous updates. Or in the most the most recent summer update. And I've just never... Because I think I got rid of my DIY recipes early on into the summer update. So maybe that's why I never noticed. See, I made my little tic-tac-toe board. That was fun. And yeah, so tomorrow is Thursday because I do need to. I I do have ch uh, Chump. The third se the third season of Chump has its premiere here in like thirty minutes, so I'm probably gonna go watch that. Chump is Chump is pretty fun. You know, I really need to watch Ruby. I was thinking about the H Bomber guy put out a video on Ruby, and I started watching it, and was like, you know, I could watch the video, but I really should just watch the show. At least the first, like, three seasons to see what it's all about. Oh, I need to end island construction. I really need to do that at some point. Ah. Yeah, I was thinking of it. Because I, as much as a fan as I am of Rooster Teeth, I've never seen Ruby. I've never seen um, Red vs. Blue. I really, I, I, even though Ruby's flawed, I do, I should do that. Yeah, I was thinking about that. But yeah, this is probably where I'm going to end off for today. I'm going to go watch Chomped and tomorrow, um, 
Oh, the summer update's tomorrow, so maybe we'll check out some Dream Suite stuff. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll, like, set up our own Dream Suite and do some other things. Friday, I have no plans. Saturday's KK Slider concert. And then Sunday will be turnups and the fireworks that night. So Sunday, you're getting two streams. Which has not happened since, what, the last meteor shower? I don't know. I try not to do them all that often, but every once in a while, you kind of need to. Especially if I'm buying turnips this week. And then, right now, the new, this new stream setup is kind of interesting. I'm definitely going to have to experiment with it more in the future, but yeah, not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Until next time. Peace.